Hi everyone, today we're going to learn how to steam block a shawl. I posted a video a couple of weeks ago on wet blocking um, crochet and knit items, but today we're going to steam block. So you're going to need your crochet or knit project. You're going to need a steamer. This is just a regular clothing steamer. I got it on Amazon. There are tons of different kinds of steamers. I love this one because it's a no drip one, so I can lay something out flat and steam over it without it dripping. You're also going to need some knit blockers. These are from um, Knitter's Pride. You're going to need a tape measure and a dry towel. So I've laid out my shawl. I'm going to take the tip of it. I apologize I can't get all of this in frame. Um, I was having some technical difficulties, so I'm going to show it to you as best I can. So I'm going to take that shawl and stretch it to be as straight as possible. All of the increasing and the shaping on this is correct as per the pattern, which is a free pattern on my blog called the Sparkle Cake Shawl. There's also a video tutorial here on YouTube. Um, so I'm just going to lay it out as flat as I can on my dry towel. I'm going to pin it with the knit blockers. This tutorial is so simple and so easy. Really, you're just pinning your shawl. You're going to stretch it just enough to make the edges straight. You can steam block anything, a blanket, a shawl, a sweater, a scarf, a hat, really anything. What it does is it softens up the fibers of the yarn, which have been compacted in order to be packaged for retail. Um, it just kind of like allows the fibers to bloom. I really prefer this method for synthetic fibers or mostly synthetic fibers if you're working with a blend. I like wet blocking for natural fibers. So since this shawl is all acrylic, I'm going to steam block it. It's just a little gentler and prevents um, stretching since you're only hitting it with a little bit of warm steam instead of completely drenching it with water. So I filled up my steamer with water and I've turned it on, it's all heated up. So basically now that it's pinned down, all I'm doing is running over it with steam. I know it's hard to tell in this angle, but I'm not holding the steamer on the yarn or the project. I'm just holding it a few inches above and allowing the steam to kind of flow over the project. So it's a very, very gentle way of blocking. I'm also gonna kind of just pat this down and make sure that everything got a little damp. It shouldn't be drenched, but it should feel a little wet to the touch. I'm gonna to go ahead and measure each side of the shawl to make sure that it's symmetrical. And then I'm just going to let this air dry and unpin it and it's done. I use this method to get the best drape and softness I can out of a project, especially one that's crochet. Um, I hope you enjoyed this seam blocking tutorial. Make sure to subscribe to my channels for more yarn-based craft tutorials. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.